friends, welcome to the grade 7 student support mathematics program. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn about statistics, the second part of statistics. In the previous lesson, we learned how to make use of tally and how to construct frequency tables. So for today, we are going to learn about the construction of pictograms and how to use pictograms and also how to interpret data in pictograms. So what is a pictogram? A pictogram consists of a chart with pictures or symbols to represent the data. A table with a key is constructed for a pictogram. The key may be a picture or a symbol which represents the data. For example, here you have a ball and this can represent three balls in fact. This picture can represent three balls. Here you have a flower which can represent five flowers. Or you can have a smiley which represents one student. So a key can represent any number of items. Let us take an example. The pictogram below shows the number of cups of tea ordered by the employers of Axel Trading Company during the week. So if you look carefully, you can see there is a title for the pictogram and there is a key. This cup represents, in fact, two cups of tea. So you have a days of the week, Monday to Friday, and you have the number of cups of tea ordered. Study the pictogram given and answer the following questions. So you've got four parts. How many cups of tea did the employers order on Friday? On which day was the most number of cups of tea ordered? On which two days were the same number of cups of tea ordered? How many more cups of tea were ordered on Monday as compared to first? So let us have a look at the solution. Part A. How many cups of tea did the employers order on Friday? So if you look at the diagram here, you can see there are four cups of tea. So four cups of tea now, remember one cup represents two cups of tea. So four will mean four times two, that is eight cups of tea are ordered on Friday. Part B, on which day was the most number of cups of tea ordered? So if we look at the pictogram here, you can see that on Monday we have five pictures of cups of tea. So on Monday, we have the most number of cups of tea which was ordered. But see, on which two days were the same number of cups of tea ordered? So in the pictogram here, you can see that on Tuesday and Friday, we have the same number of cups of tea. So on Tuesday and Friday, the same number of cups of tea were ordered. Part D, how many more cups of tea were ordered on Monday as compared to Thursday? So in the pictogram here, on Monday we have five cups and on Thursday we have only three cups. So how many more were ordered? You can see there are two more cups. So two times two, remember one cup is representing in fact two cups of tea. So we have four more cups of tea which were ordered on Monday as compared to Thursday. We now move on to the construction of a pictogram. So we consider the frequency table which was drawn in the previous lesson on tally and frequency table. If you still remember, Richard had obtained seven votes, Shaheen four votes and Anna nine votes. So we are going to use this frequency table now to construct our pictogram. So remember I said you need to put a title. So the title here is number of votes in grade 7 amber. And my key here 
represents only one vote. So Richard had obtained seven votes, so I need to have seven such diagrams. Shaheen, four votes, so four such diagrams. And Anna had obtained nine votes. So this is my pictogram. We consider a second example. The 20 students of grade seven diamond have been asked to name their favorite afternoon activity. The answers are as follows. So these are some of the activities that the students like to do in the afternoon. Construct a frequency table and construct a pictogram using the frequency table from part A. So we are going to use our tally which we had learned in the previous lesson to construct the frequency table. So I'm going to look again as we did in the previous video. Reading, I'm going to put one vertical bar, watching and so on. So this is our frequency table. That is we have eight students who like to read, five who like to watch TV and seven who likes to practice sports. Now we're going to use this frequency table to construct our pictogram. So here is the frequency table and I'm using a rectangle here to represent one student. So reading, we have eight students, so we should be having eight rectangles. Watching TV, we have five, so we have five rectangles. And for sports, we have seven, so we have seven rectangles. And this is our pictogram. Don't forget, you need to include the title that is favorite afternoon activity of grade seven diamond. Now, some important points to remember when drawing a pictogram. You should always remember to include a key because without the key, we won't know whether this is representing one student or more than one. The second important point is the symbol should be of the same size throughout. I cannot have different sizes because they won't be representing the same number of items. And as I mentioned earlier, a title should be given to the pictogram. So let us look at some exercises for you to practice. So you've got the first question. The pictogram shows the number of ice creams ordered by grade seven students over a period of five months. So here, this picture represents in fact eight ice creams. So you have to study the pictogram and answer the questions below. So here is the pictogram. Using the pictogram, you need to answer these questions. Question number two, a company exports pineapples abroad over a period of six months. The information is recorded in the table below. So here's the information. And you have these questions to answer. In which month was the least number of pineapples exported? Part B, how many more pineapples were exported in August as compared to June? Now for part C, you need to draw a pictogram to illustrate the information in the frequency table. And this diagram is representing 100 pineapples. So you need to be careful when you're drawing your pictogram. Part D, express the number of pineapples exported in April to that exported in July as a ratio in its simplest form. The last part, express the number of pineapples exported in May as a percentage of the total number of pineapples exported. The next question, the last one, the table below shows the number of birds in captivity at a park over a period of four weeks. So you have your frequency table here. You need to construct your pictogram, but here the key has not been given. You're supposed to use an appropriate key. And once you have drawn your pictogram, you need to answer the following questions. Find in which week there was the highest number of birds in captivity. Part C, 
Express the number of birds in captivity in week one to that in week three as a ratio in its simplest form. And the last part, express the number of birds in captivity in week two as a percentage of the total number of birds in captivity over the four weeks. So you also have some links for further reference. So in this lesson, we have learned how to draw a pictogram, how to use and interpret symbols on a pictogram, and remember, the symbols must be of the same size throughout. We can also have parts of a symbol which are used to represent some numbers. And don't forget to include your key and the title. So we have reached the end of this second part on statistics, where we have learned how to construct, use a pictogram. So friends, until next time, it's goodbye.